Hey everybody, welcome back to another Fast Tip Friday. This is Eric Stark, the host of the Smart RVer podcast. And today we're gonna to be talking about RV trailer door entrance locks. So these locks will work on most trailers, whether it's a travel trailer, a fifth wheel trailer, cargo trailers, utility trailers, horse trailers, just about any trailer, small trailer that has a walk-in door, this lock will be on it. There's a taller version that's no longer available. It was used on a lot of horse trailers. But this is the main lock. So it's on, you know, 90% of the trailer doors out there. Like I said, whether it's a travel trailer or a fifth wheel trailer. So these locks are pretty easy to understand. It's kind of one size fits all. They're two and a half inches wide in the center here for the cutout hole, three and a quarter inches tall. So that's the hole in the side of the door. So if you, you know, you're uncertain and you take the lock out, that's the size of the hole you're going to have. This thing will fit right in. Like I said, about 90% of the RVs, this is gonna fit, or excuse me, trailers, fifth wheel and travel trailers. So it's a pretty basic lock, it's the old standby. You got the inside latch, the deadbolt lever. Outside, you got your two keys, you got the paddle, pretty basic. And this comes in, uh, you know, there's different brands that have made this lock over the years. There's Trimark, FIC, which is the same as Fastech. And this happens to be a global one. This is a Bauer lock, and you know, they look basically the same. You know, the outside's a little bit different, and that's fine. You know, subtle differences there. The insides are different. The Bauer lock has a plastic inside handle, which is okay. You know, they seem to be problem free. Whereas the Global has a metal handle on the inside. Other than that, they're pretty identical. I like the metal handle myself, I like Global products. Bauer Products makes good products, good locks, not knocking them, but I just prefer the global brand. Now, also, speaking of Bauer, they make a great lock called a squeeze handle. So what's unique about it is on the inside, it has this nice lever for opening and closing the door. It has a larger lever for the deadbolt, so it's a little easier to handle, especially if you have arthritis in your hands or you know, limited mobility with the hands. Then the outside has got this nice latch that you just squeeze. So in theory, it seems real well. You know, you're just gonna squeeze the latch, pull your door open. Now some RV doors open and close kind of tight. So you might have to push in a little bit as you're squeezing the latch, then pull. If some RV doors are that way, you gotta push to kind of get them open. They don't always fit the greatest. And sometimes over time, they might wear in a little bit better but sometimes they don't. We still get old RVs in here or older, and you gotta push the door in to unlock it or you know, flip the lever on the handle to get it open, which is okay. And then you have the keyless entry lock. Now this particular one is made by Global. So this is the inside that would go inside the door. Here's the opposite piece. It goes on the other end and you can see the wire hanging there. This one has the keys hanging on it and wire here as well. Then over here, you got the touch pad where you put in your combination, or you can attach to this or connect to this one with Bluetooth. So you could use your phone to open and close the door, or unlock the door. I shouldn't say open and close, but unlock the door. So that's kind of cool. Now on these particular type of locks, if you get a keyless entry lock, you need to keep the keys someplace handy. So you need to hide them someplace on the exterior of your RV. Now you might wanna leave them in the tow vehicle or at least one of them in the tow vehicle, your truck that you tow your trailer with. You need to hide it someplace or have it available. You know, the idea is not to have them on your key ring, so you're not gonna keep it on your key ring. But you can't just leave them at home and go on a trip because if the lock malfunctions, the battery goes dead, something you know dies in it, and you can't open the door with the, with the keypad or your Bluetooth connection, you'll need the key. So make sure you have the key someplace. I can't emphasize that because people will forget, leave the keys at home, the lock malfunctions, and they're locked out. Then they have to take drastic measures to get inside the RV, which usually means destroying the lock. Now these locks have been around for, oh, 10, 15 years of keyless entry locks, and some have been better than others. Today, Global Link, I think, is one of the leaders in the market. It's a little more pricey than most of the other brands, but it's a better lock, 
and I highly recommend by purchasing by quality and not by price, by reviews, not just by price. You know, there's like all the locks and like so many things, the market's getting flooded with a lot of brands that are not mainstream brands and they lack customer support. They lack um, follow up on problems. They ship locks that don't work right and they don't care. You know, it's not a big deal and that's becoming more and more common this day and age where the quality diminishes and the prices, you know, kind of go with it and you're buying a lower quality product at a lower price, which you're saving some money in the beginning, but initially that savings disappears or uh, over time that savings could disappear if the lock only lasts for three months, six months, a year, and you're replacing it again. So I highly recommend going to your local RV parts and accessory stores to purchase your locks and getting the quality brand. Now the global products come in a box that looks similar to this. This happens to be for the keyless entry one. They're red and white. AP products comes in boxes like this, or excuse me, the Bauer locks come in a box like this and it's branded AP products. They repackage for Bauer lock and Global does their own thing. They're not re having anybody repackage it. So both brands are great. So it's pretty simple. That's all this video is about is just so you have a little more understanding about the locks and it's not a complex thing. You go to the RV store. I need an entrance door for my trailer. They shouldn't even ask another question. They should just walk you over and show you the color or the locks and say, which color do you want the squeeze lash? Do you want a keyless entry? Do you want a convention one? It's that simple. So, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and more information is down in the comments section below. Have an awesome day. This is Eric with the Smart RVer Podcast.